Barbara Clark and I'm with the Florida Public Archaeology Network. Thank you for joining me today. Today we're going to be making two items. We're going to be making a coil pot and a clay pendant. The coil pot is neat because it uses the same technique that Native Americans use to make their pottery. And the pendant is cool because it's going to show you some techniques that Native Americans use to decorate their pots. So there's some items you're going to need to gather before we get started. First, you're going to need clay of some sort. It can be Play-Doh. I'm using air dry clay that I bought at the craft store. You can also make your own clay if you have that capability. Second, you're going to need some items to decorate your pendant and your clay pot if you so choose. I like to use some items from nature, such as greenery. It can even be artificial greenery if you'd like, fake greenery, seashell. Then I also have some rubber stamps. Now, of course, Native Americans didn't have cool little ladybug and paw print stamps, but they would make their own by carving designs into wood and then pressing them in the clay before they fired it. If you'd like, you can also use a skewer or a pencil with a sharp tip, and you can use that to carve little designs into your pottery freehand if you prefer. And I like to use a straw to poke a hole in my pendant, so that way once it dries, I can hang it on my Christmas tree as an ornament. You can also string a thread through it or a string and hang it on your neck or on your wall, whatever you would like. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to need to do is take some clay and form it into two different balls. And I'm sure you've done this before where you just roll it on the table or you can roll it between your hands. It does not have to be perfect. As you can see, one of my balls is a little bit bigger than the other. We're gonna set the small one aside and right now we're going to work with the larger one to create our coil pot. So the first thing you're going to have to do in order to make your coil pot is to make your coil. And I'm sure you've done this before where you take your ball of clay, you mush it down and then you roll it out long and skinny like a snake. Now you want this to be somewhat uniform or the same thickness all along up and down the snake. It does not have to be perfect though. So once you've put a little elbow grease into it and you have your coiled up snake, the next thing you're going to want to do is lay it flat and you're gonna take one end. This is going to be the base of your pot. What you're going to do is slowly, kind of like a snail's shell, you're gonna coil it onto itself. And it doesn't have to be perfect, right? And you can do this as many times as you like. Remember, this will be the base of your pot. So this is how big your pot is going to be, essentially. So I have my little coil here. It looks kind of like a snail shell. <laughs> the next thing you're going to do is take the rest and very carefully start to build it up. So place it on top of your snail shell, okay? And these are the walls. This is gonna be the wall of your clay pot. Next, we're going to take our other little ball of clay and we're just going to flatten it. Now, you want to keep in mind that you may want to do this on parchment paper or on a paper plate, because uh, they tend to sometimes, depending on the type of clay you use, get smushed into the table and then when you try and peel it up, it breaks. So be patient with it, take your time, and you can as, mush it as thick or as thin as you, as you would like. Mine, there you can see there, not too thin. The next thing I'm going to do is take my assortment of items that I have gathered that I want to use to decorate my pot. I always like the look of vegetation or greenery plants on clay. I think it looks really pretty, uh, especially this guy. Now, this is one way that Native Americans would decorate their clay pots. They would take different items and then impress it into the clay. So here I'm gonna do the plant. 
and I'll show you what that looks like. And you can push it as hard or as light as you want. Different pressure gives different effects. But here, I'll show you what I have. Pretty cool, right? Next, I'm going to use the little paw print. I'm a big fan of dogs and kitties, so I think this will work. Now, Native Americans obviously didn't have cool little rubber stamps like we do, but what archaeologists do find are pieces of wood that have been carved with a cool design, and the Native Americans would take that piece of wood and press that piece of wood into the clay before they fired it. And you can see here, ta-da! Now, another cool effect that I really like are seashells. You can take the edge of the seashell and just kind of roll it on the clay. I'm gonna do it again, because it looks really neat. Roll it on the clay. And there you go. Now, like I said earlier, if you want, you can take this little straw and poke a hole in it. And that way, when it dries, you'll be able to hang it on your Christmas tree or around your neck, if you like, on a string. So this is air dry clay. It does not need to be fired. We just leave it out for a day or so and it'll dry and be super hard. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had as much fun as I did. If you have any questions or if you would like to share photos of your coil pots or your clay pendants with us, be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. You can also check us out and subscribe to our YouTube channel where we are posting videos all the time. So it's a great way to keep up to date with what we have going on. Another wonderful resource is our website, fpan.us. You can go there and learn about what's going on, learn a little bit more about FPAN, and we have some wonderful activities for you to do on our website as well. So again, thank you so much, and I hope to see you next time.